Hey guys and welcome to Become Renaissance here with another Arduino video. Uh, today we're going to be teaching you the basic button code. So we're going to go ahead and open up our Arduino. And from this main menu you want to go to File, Example, Digital, and we're going to go ahead and select Button. Now this is what your standard button code is going to look like. It's going to have a few comments on the top but that's just uh, the template that they gave it to you in for uh, added notes. But the code is just going to start right about here. It's going to be const integer and button pin. Uh, well, constant integer button pin, all that's saying is that it's constant, it's not going to change. So if you look down there it says integer button state equals zero. That means the state of the button is going to change. That integer is going to change somehow. So, so that's that's all it means. The constant means it won't be changing and the integer means well, that it, it will. It could change. Okay. It could. So the void setup, we're just going to recognize what's an input and what's an output. Our LED pin, which is just going to be the light, is going to be an output, so it's going to be working, doing work outside of the system. And button pin is going to be taking information, so it's going to be an input, so it's going to be reading information. So we're going to be inputting information, and it's going, and the LED is going to give out information. So it's, we're doing an action, and we're getting a result. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with our void loop, which is our actual function. Uh, the button state, this is a variable that we called right here, which is going to be equal to zero. So the button state is going to be equal to digital read. And it's going to just, all it is is going to read the state of the button pin. If it's, if it's clicked down, it's going to be one. If it's let go, it's going to be zero. So zero means low and one means high, which means that high is on and low is off. So low, off, and zero are connected, mean the same thing, and one high and well, one high and on means well they're on. Okay. So if it's high, if the button is pressed, then we're going to go ahead digital right or we're going to turn on that LED, LED pin. But if the button is not pressed, then we're going to go ahead and turn the LED pin off. So let's see what the schematics look like. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up our fritzing program. And if you don't know how to use fritzing, we include it in another tutorial, which I'll provide in the link for you right now. So we're going to go ahead and let this load up for a couple more days and hours. All right, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and put in is our basic breadboard. Right, now that's it. I think the background to get rid of that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drag in our button because we are going to be doing a button code. So I'm just going to go ahead and bridge these over to save some space. Um, also, before we have a button, obviously we're going to have our Arduino board, which is located right here. And so we, we're going to connect the 5 volts to one end of the bat of the uh, button so that'll give it power all right and we're going to branch a one of these going to a digital pin which will assign it to a pin and another one of these uh, somehow we have to whoops go ahead and uh, we need to find a resistor basic resistor going to be right here I'm going to go ahead and drag. Actually, if we make it a little more simpler, we're going to go ahead and just move this thing down. Oops. Move this resistor. So in this in this little pin row here, you can see it's highlighted in the green. Uh, in this row, it's going to be taken by, yes, a resistor and a uh, insulated wire. At the end of this resistor, we're going to go ahead and ground this. So we're going to attach it to this bus. And that'll complete the circuit. After we ground it. There we go. So that's complete. For the button, that's a button. Yeah, that is the button. That's how you connect a button to the Arduino. And if you want to include an LED light, this is pretty simple. Because we're going to have to be doing both in this code. We're going to go ahead and drag, since this is the shorter pin, this is going to be the negative one. So we're going to go ahead and just branch the bottom one here to the grounded side. And we'll say, uh, why not LED pin 6 to the positive side? So what we just did was ground the LED to complete the circuit, and we assigned it a pin. 
And this is what the image from getting started with the Arduino um, button, uh, button diagram looks like. All right, look at this. All right, we have the LED assigned to pin 9, and we have the button assigned to pin 10. And what should happen, since the code already uploaded, is that when I press this button, the LED should light up. That's what should happen. So let's go ahead and press that button. Success, hold the button down. Let it go. There we go. That's it. That's what it's supposed to do. That's it. Thank you for watching.